Hi, I'm Guido from Wacom. Welcome back to a new video. In this video, I will show you how to install the Wacom tablet driver on a macOS operating system. In this case, I'm using the latest macOS, uh, known as Monterey, so version 12.1. And also make sure that you have always the latest Wacom Macintosh driver in your downloads. So, to do this, go to support.wacom.com, go to Drivers and Downloads, and making sure that you download the latest version of the driver. Just scroll down, and here you can see always the latest Macintosh and Windows driver. To the left, you see the Macintosh driver. Just click on Download here and confirm the download, and then it goes directly to your Macintosh download folder. So after the download, I can close the web browser, go to my download folder in the finder here, and just start the installation process by double-clicking on the installer. Then there's the Wacom icon with install Wacom tablet. Double-click here again. And now the main installer will pop up. And now I simply click through a couple of slides saying the introduction, the license agreement. I confirm this with agree. And also um, the installation type is also pretty straightforward. Just click on install to start the process. Here we got the first window where um, the macOS is asking for the credentials. So I enter my password in here as well. Click on install software. And after a few more seconds, the driver installation will complete. And here is what's basically new from earlier operating system, but also from Windows operating system. On macOS latest version, you have advanced security settings. And here we have to take some manual actions to make sure that the tablet is running as we want to. So first of all, we help you by having this window here, which is explaining what you have to do. So we have to go to the system preferences and check some of the security and privacy settings and enable them manually to make the pen work on your macOS system. I leave that window open here. But you also can see that the macOS is coming up with two operating system related messages saying access accessibility events. And here it asks, is asking you to give some credentials to uh, two parts of the Wacom driver, which we have to enable manually. So basically, this is the first window. I, let me close the installer window here before we do this. Um, I read what it's saying in here. So what it's basically saying is open system preferences, go to security and privacy and to the privacy tab and then scroll to accessibility in the list and unlock your settings. And this we will do now together. So now I'm switching to that window here. So it says Wacom, uh, com Wacom IO manager would like to control this computer using accessibility features. Don't worry, this is nothing um, which where you should worry about. This is just to allow the Wacom pen to control the mouse cursor, basically. So let's go there and do it together. It is important here that you don't click on deny. Please click on open system preferences. And then you will see that we are in the security and privacy tab on the operating system uh, security settings. And then you see a grayed out area on the right. What we have to do first is we have to unlock these settings by clicking on the lock to make changes. Again, we are going into the credentials phase where I enter my password and username and unlock the settings. And now comes the important part here. Now you can see um, the com.wacom.io manager as part of the list here. And you see a checkbox left of this um, entry. And please go there with the cursor and click and tick the checkbox to enable the Wacom uh, IO manager. And then you can simply close that one. And then a second tab comes up. It's saying Wacom tablet driver would like to receive keystrokes on any application. Again, same steps as now. We have to allow the Wacom tablet driver to um, get messages from the keyboard. So again, don't click on deny here. Go to open system preferences. And you are now in the input monitoring part. Same story, the window is grayed out. You have to click on the lock to make changes, enter credentials, and making sure that you 
check the checkbox mark here and then you get another message from the operating system uh, that the Wacom tablet driver will not be able to monitor input from your keyboard until it's quit. Here you simply go on quit and reopen and then we are done with this step as well. And now we can close that tab as again and we can close the window. And what we should do now is having a restart on the Mac OS S system. And then after the restart, the Wacom Desktop Center will come up and you have now full control of your Wacom tablet. Thanks for watching and take care.